Friday, 5th of March 2021. You're watching the Friday edition of Prime News on my major prime. Thanks for being with us. Uh, it is uh, live or we are live from Fengudrombange in Douala, the economic capital of the country. My name is Genda Peldrin Blanche King. Mothers of the Nation organized a press conference earlier today at the headquarters of Stand Up Camera with the aim of calling on other women to join them in their quest to seek lasting solutions that will and the crisis ongoing in the country. Lasha Kingsley attended this conference and gathered the following. Ahead of this year's International Women's Day celebration, Mothers of Nation today organized a come together to chart a way forward out of what they called violence against their children, communities, and Cameroon. The come together was at the headquarters of Stand Up for Cameroon a coalition of civil society organizations and political party. A group of women is calling on Cameroonians to join them in black on Monday, March 8, 2021, in churches, streets, and other public places to say no to the violence. Wearing black on Monday 8, this is our proposal. We are wearing black this 8th Monday because we need to count our numbers. Any time I will see someone in the street at work in the hospital wearing black i will know this one is one of us and when we are clear that we are enough in our numbers to make a difference then we can plan for the next step according to barista michelle ndoki who is a member of the group leaders alone cannot stop the violence she explains further that leaders are not the ones dying but the local population and as such they must decide now to end the violence this is about us becoming the leaders we want to see we've been calling on the leaders we've been waiting for the leaders to say something do something fix the issue leaders are human beings they cannot fix the issue without us leaders are human beings they are not the, di the one dying in lieu of us we are the one whose villages are being burnt down we are the one whose children are dying in hospitals the message for this year 2021 is it is hard time we hold this conversation take part into the decision-making process. The women reminded other mothers to think of the hardship they are going through, threat of violence from urban gangs and other miseries they have been going through as a result of their indecisions. Few days to the celebration of the 2021 edition of International Women's Day. The streets are relatively calm as compared to uh, yes before and now. Uh, this year's edition is void of any uh, public celebration due to COVID-19 pandemic in the country. Our reporter Dolin Gonde was out on the streets. She captured the moment. The market is boozy. But this is the usual display, like there was no event around the corner. With the majority of entries being of the female folk, one would easily depict at first thought they are here to grab their fabrics in prelude to the upcoming International Women's Day. But on the contrary, this year there is very little anticipation towards that effect. This is a bomb procedure. At the dressmaking workshops, there are no cues and only a few seamstresses have been lucky enough to design for their clients. Talking to some individuals about their notion of this day, some gave it a thumbs up. The coronavirus, the crisis that, uh, that we have in, uh, in this country has uh, stopped everything, so we don't know how uh, it is going to be. I wear it or I don't wear it, I don't have problem for that. But those women that, uh, that cherish Women's Day so much, they always uh, have problem with that, with that. Uh, Le 8 mars, c'est un jour spécial pour les femmes. La femme 
que devient l'homme est rationnel. Monsieur va au marché préparer, il fait le marché, il rentre préparé. Nous mangeons à table avec les enfants. Après, j'invite monsieur, nous sortons, je lui, je lui offre un pot, nous buvons et après nous rentrons. Meanwhile, others seized the opportunity to express their grievances. Alors que nous ne mangeons pas, nous voici aujourd'hui. Depuis septembre, je n'ai pas, pas de salaire, alors que je suis une pension. The day, which is usually abused by many women, has hurt many individuals but lashing acts of indecency, arrogance and pride. As many reiterate, it is rather a day for women to be conscious in adding value to the society positively. My advice to the women outside there that are doing nothing, especially the young girls that, uh, that are outside. So, I want to advise you, you guys, to look for something doing, not to depend on men or not to uh, go out to the street to look for money. But there are things, there are so many things that you can do even to fire your groundnut and sell to even for Larry anything. If you have a guy, he is in the money to buy a shirt, it's good. He wants you to do it. And if you say, no, madam, I don't have the money, you have to understand the money. Although there shall be no outdoor festivities to observe this year's edition of the International Women's Day in Cameroon, women are nonetheless encouraged to be more proactive and responsible as they remain the mothers and backbones to every society. Thanks, Dolly Gondé. A newborn baby discovered uh, close to a bin in Bonadikombo, Limbe, is currently receiving medical care at the Limbe Regional Hospital. Thanks to the efforts of a passerby who noticed the helpless baby, it is not clear who abandoned the baby and why. Eileen Sama reports. This is the newborn baby, apparently abandoned by her mother immediately she was born as her umbilical cord was still very fresh and attached to the body at press R. The baby was discovered by a passerby wrapped in a rug and a plastic bag, who then alerted this lady, mother of a three-month-old baby. She was found beside stones near a bin in Bonadikombo, mile four, a neighborhood in Limbe. My entrance with Jehovah's Witness, my four. Uh, some girl they call me say so they don't run through it picking they don't through it picking no i say where so it take me now go for the stone in between stones away they don't through picking they for wrapping so me now i go closer because they get the fear i go closer now open the wrap on a one loom now newborn baby where they just born on that day throw away in placenta or bigger cut seed they did the rubber with dirty rag with a dry clean floor with them took an inside wrapping so I tear the wrap on her, move the baby, take my hand away, wrap the baby. So I wrap the bikini and I take and go for maternity. The mother of this baby, said to be a premature baby, is nowhere to be found. But the baby is under medical care at the Limbe General Hospital under the supervision of her new parents. This condition will be exposed, his skin will look reddish and you see small. So they say it be kind of premature. So they put it for incubator, it they on treatments. Original hospital in there. The couple who have named the baby girl Kilo Miracle Angel have assumed the roles of her parents and promised to cater for her like their own. Uh, again, him say Kilo Miracle Angel. Her husband is saying a blockade. Yes, he is saying a blockade, and with that, he don't be able to take care of me and our children. So, baby miracle not going to be an exception. Here I'm so, I'll be happy. And at the same time, I'll be 
with tears for my eyes. So uh, the reason why I be uh, happy, and I say, thank God, say they pick the picky way they are alive because some picking and they were the true ones, so the ones discover them, they don't die. And uh, this one, I be I vex, I hear I be vex now because. And it just like imagine say if the king will die, how the situation is worth pointing out that this incident is happening amid preparations ahead of the 2021 edition of the International Women's Day on March 8, few days to go, and is just one of many other similar cases recorded in recent times in the country. Individuals in the country have been reminded on the need to tread with a caution as wildlife repeatedly finds itself in communities amongst humans after a loose lion in the far north region of uh, the uh, country that uh, injured over seven people. An elephant was seen in a farm recently in Bakingili, a rare sight to behold. Nora Kakibi completes the story. Recently, the local population in Bakingili in the southwest region of Cameroon was shocked to find an elephant close to their homes. The elephant was seen behind the government's technical high school in Bakingili and has left the population marveled, wondering where it came from and why it actually left its natural habitat. It should be noted that farmers in some parts of the country have been complaining of elephant attacks on their farmlands and houses. Just last month, it should be recalled that a similar incident happened in the far north region of the country where a lion attacked people, killing one person and leaving several others badly injured, though the lion was later captured and killed. The local population seems to be faced with danger as this wildlife have started feeling comfortable finding themselves among humans. With these animals moving into human space, the question on every leap is, has the wildlife protection services in Cameroon become laxed? Or rather, have humans just invaded the natural habitat of these wildlife and make them feel threatened? It should be noted that through wildlife rescue and rehabilitation, educational initiatives and community programs, the Cameroon's unique wildlife heritage will be preserved. Prime Minister, Head of Government, Chief Dr. Joseph Diongote, presided over an interministerial meeting yesterday at the Star Building in Yawunde to evaluate the second phase of COVID-19 in the country, calling on strict respect of all anti-COVID measures while waiting for further measures to be taken in the days ahead. Audrey Zatza completes the story. Cette réunion du comité interministériel de suivi de la riposte nationale contre le coronavirus qui s'est tenue hier à l'immeuble étoile sous la présidence du premier ministre chef du gouvernement Joseph John Goutet avait pour but de faire une évaluation de la stratégie gouvernementale face à la résurgence du virus. Une évaluation qui fait état de 3523 cas actifs, dont 350 unités de prise en charge, 588 décès enregistrés ce mois de mars 2021. Une situation plutôt alarmante d'après Joseph John Goutet, qui a rappelé ainsi à une prise de conscience pour le respect scrupuleux des mesures barrières dans les espaces publics formulés par l'Organisation mondiale de la santé. Faisant appel aux ministres présents de s'assurer du respect du quota de 50 personnes dans l'organisation des manifestations publiques et le respect des règles d'hygiène édictées en matière de l'inhumation des corps des personnes décédées du coronavirus, le président le Premier ministre attend du ministre de la Santé publique qu'il lui donne des propositions motivées sur le type de vaccin qui convient au Cameroun et la campagne de communication pour ce vaccin. Et c'est toujours dans cette même lancée de la lutte contre le coronavirus que le gouverneur de la région du Sud, Félix Nguélé a fait appel aux responsables des églises, mosquées et les transporteurs du Sud hier pour une remobilisation en vue de stopper la chaîne de la propagation du Covid-19 dans cette région du pays. D'après les statistiques de la dernière semaine de février dans le sud, 1592 tests ont été réalisés avec 100 cas positifs. Un chiffre qui rappelle une fois de plus au respect des mesures barrières. 
You're watching the 630 Prime News on my major prime. Dealers in livestock and fisheries in the northwest region have received equipment and materials to enhance animal health and oxen tools for pasture improvement. The handover ceremony took place recently at the Leafy Deb head office in Pamenda. Charles Kebwa reports. A ceremony to distribute livestock and fisheries input, fish feed, dewormers, material leaks and vitamins to livestock and fisheries farmers in the northwest and handing over of equipment and materials to enhance animal health coverage and oxen tools for pasture improvement took place at the Lipidep head office Bamenda March 3rd 2021. Distributing these inputs and equipment to farmers, Leafy Depth Northwest Project Coordinator Mbipe Pius revealed over 6,000 producers, staff and stakeholders have been trained on poultry and small ruminant, fish production and pasture improvement. The government of Cameroon, as you are all aware, has as objective to reduce poverty in households by accompanying and supporting producers to improve of the production and productivity of their cattle, small ruminants, poultry, and fish. Medinos GM Cletus Anya Matoya, who presided at the handing over ceremony, said Medino has been piloting rural development for over 40 years to improve on the population standard of living. He praised the management of Lipidev in accelerating the economy of the region. In line with Lipidev request, Medino GM Cletus Anya Matoya assured grant of a second phase to commence immediately after the first phase of the project in order to enhance animal production as Lipidev has grown interest to support farmers. Northwest Regional Delegate of Livestock, Fisheries and Animal Development, Dr. Emmanuel Samo Yungabi, appreciated the founders and implementing partners of the project promised to ensure follow-up to assure the inputs received are all utilized. The project is sponsored by the Islamic Development Bank in cooperation with the government of Cameroon. In the report that follows, Eileen Sama talked to some traders and consumers of seafood, most of whom expressed uh, the difficulties faced with the recent hike in the prices of uh, crayfish and uh, uh, fish in the market. While traders complain of little or no profit, consumers complain of no satisfaction at all. Let's get Eileen Sama. Crayfish traders, locally called njanga, as well as dry mbonga fish, are currently facing tough times in the business due to the fact that prices have spiked up, reducing profit made. Ma Patricia has been in the business for two years. She says making profit from the business in recent times has become very difficult. Njanga still don't go up. Njanga then are one one sixty five for one bag. We the sale only get money. Tine not the worker. Just say as we market all day. If you are bad, you not get money not the day again. The first time. First time we buy back like 15 times. But now I don't go 165. We need to make no small money make more for the only loss now loss. Need for profit. Need for small gain. So the bank me government me hello we if we if we back make the the price may go down small. For Helen. A young trader in dry fish, the prices have risen from 250,000 francs to 300 or 400 francs CFA for a carton of mbonga, making it difficult to convince clients to buy four medium-sized dry mbonga at 500 francs as compared to seven for 500 francs in the past. As concerns dry fish, the price has risen, so we have difficulties convincing the customers. Before we used to sell and make profit, but now we don't. Before we sold seven for 500 francs. Now we sell at three, four, or five for 500 francs CFA. Before now, we bought a carton at 250,000 francs CFA, but now it is at 300 and 400 francs CFA. As concerns fresh mackerel, there is a serious problem of scarcity making the prices to spike as juice a fish seller tells us. The problem of scarcity, as far as Macero is concerned. During um, de December, one carton of Macero, 20 kilograms, the Insane Plus uh, was 24, 25,000 francs. But now, one carton is close to 30, 30,000, 31,000. The main importer of Macero, Conjecam, does not have Macero. 
So those uh, little little importers in the quarters now, we, we, mm -hmm, they have macro. They have used this as an advantage to to increase the price. When the price increase like this, we have so many difficulties. One, capital problem. With 50,000 francs, you cannot buy two carton of macro. When you come to the market, one kilo of macro, which was uh, 1,200, 1,300. But now, one eight, two thousand mem. So uh, that is a problem we are facing as far as macro is concerned. However, another factor highlighted by Chopu Daniel, who runs this small cold store, as concerns the increase of prices of mackerel, is the issue of quality and availability of a particular species of mackerel. It's because the good quality is not in the market. The quality is not very good. That is because it's, it's more cheap than a good quality. When you have, if you try to have a good quality, it's expensive. Other fish species like chili, jack, tilapia are also scales on the market, making cost price high and a drop in sales, as most customers find it hard to understand the recent increase of prices of fish in the market. We've come to the end of today's edition of Prime News on my Media Prime. Thanks for being with us. Lasha Kinsley coordinated the news produced by Ewane Elaino Linga. My name is Genda Peodrum Blanche King. Stay tuned to my Media Prime at 7 p.m. Kumluna will be live with Prime R. Enjoy today's edition of Prime R and uh, stay safe. Happy viewing. Happy weekend. Good night.